Hello, in this video I'd like to demonstrate the connectivity between iOS applications running on iPhone or iPad and uh, media applications hosted in Wow's media server. For this I'm going to be using iOS uh, communication library for iOS that we developed and I also have created a few sample applications uh, deployed in uh, Wowza. So first of all I'm going to start with a demo and then dig into the code just to demonstrate how things work from the coding perspective. So first of all I'm going to run Wowza Media Server. Here it is, the server is, uh, is running. And uh, I have three different uh, uh, iOS applications and these are native Objective-C uh, applications. And uh, the first one will demonstrate client to server invocations from an iPhone app of the Java code running in Wowza. And here's my client invoke app, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it now. My server is running on localhost, and the application where I deployed my custom code is called iOS. So now it is connected. Let me also bring up Wowza on the screen. And uh, for the connectivity from the connectivity demonstration perspective, I have six different methods, which uh, each of these take a different value, uh, and uh, it also receives exactly the same value. So, for instance, when I invoke echo int on my Java code uh, in uh, running in Wowza, that code reports that method was invoked, the argument value is 12, and it also returns 12, and uh, my iPhone application just displays the result back. And uh, likewise, with all the other methods, they also send a value, uh, server-side code displays this value and sends it back. And as you can see, we can pass strings, integers, floats. This one sends a string array. Uh, the values are displayed in the Java code in Wowza, and we get the same array back. Uh, this is an integer array, and uh, an array list of various values. Uh, some are strings, some are numbers, and so on. So as you can see, the integration is there. Uh, we use our RTMP connection. Uh, the communication library for iOS provides a full implementation of the RTMP protocol, and that's what we use. So at this point, there is a dedicated connection between my uh, iPhone uh, simulator and uh, the application running in Wowza. Uh, let me stop this application and quickly show you what the, the actual code that is deployed in Wowza looks like. And uh, here, this is a, a custom module, and as you can see, there are methods echo and echo float, echo string, and so on, which uh, were invoked by my iPhone application. So as you can see, here is the standard Bowser API to extract the parameters, display them, and then send the result back. Very straightforward stuff. Now, the next demo that I'd like to show is the ability to invoke client-side functions, meaning Objective-C functions, directly from the Java code running in Wowza. I'm going to be using exactly the same Wowza media server instance, and it is still running right here. And uh, uh, I have a different project in my Xcode, and that one is going to be called Server Invoke. And let me start this guy. Okay. Uh, these, these, these are the parameters that are going to work for me. The Wowza server is running on port 1935. Uh, the name of the application is Callback Demo. I'm going to connect. And as soon as I connect, my code starts sending data by invoking client-side function directly from the server-side code. And uh, this is the name of the method, Wowza to iOS call. And uh, the log code in my Java code running in Wowza just displays the client ID and what it does it sends the current server time to my client side function. Okay, very straightforward stuff. Once I disconnect, uh, that loop stops and I can connect and it just restarts again. So once again, uh, not a lot of exciting things are happening on the UI, but the cool thing about it is that we can definitely invoke uh, Objective-C functions directly from Java running in Wowza. And uh, let me show you what the, client, uh, what the Java code looks like. And for this, I created another uh, module base. And for this, uh, I maintain a collection of the connected clients, start a thread, and uh, that thread is running right here. 
and uh, if we have any clients that, that which are which connected to that particular application, we just execute the using the Wowza API. We execute Wowza to iOS call uh, method and pass in this particular argument. So it's it's once again uh, RTMP uh, all the standard Wowza API and then the API that our communication library for iOS provides. And finally, I'm going to demonstrate yet another uh, feature which is support for remote shared objects. And uh, for this, let me start another application. And for this one, it's going to be a whiteboard application. So for this one, I'm going to be using uh, my iPad as well as uh, a simulator because it's it's better to demonstrate this feature using two or more devices. Okay, so you, you should be able to see my iPad on the screen and I'm going to select the whiteboard application and this application, as I said, I will run both on the iPad and simulator and also launch it on the on the iPad as well. Right, so the, the simulator is connected and I'm also connecting the iPad. So at this point, as you can see that any anything that I do in the simulator or on the actual iPad, all these strokes that I that I'm drawing here are completely replicated on and on both sides. And for this we are using remote shared objects because uh, this is one of the features supported by the communication library for iOS which we provide and uh, it makes it possible to interact uh, for multiple users, users to interact with each other by, by using that functionality. So uh, on top of this any other client supporting RTMP, so for instance Flex and Flash applications connected to the same app running in Wowza can also leverage exactly the same remote shared objects Thus, you can uh, build an application where both browser-based clients using Flex or Flash, as well as uh, iOS clients running iPhone and iPad, can easily uh, communicate with each other using this remote shared object functionality and Wowza Media Server. So this concludes this particular demo. Uh, there is really no custom server-side code for the shared object application uh, because it's uh, it's a strictly kind of a built-in feature that does not require any kind of customizations. So hopefully you enjoyed this demo. Uh, you can download the communication library for iOS from the midnightcoders.com uh, website. Uh, and Wowza is available uh, from the Wowza Media Server website.